Welcome back to YouTube How To. This is your guide, Andrea G. And today I'm going to show you how to get the desktop version of YouTube on your mobile phone, whether you have an iOS or you have an Android. This video is going to show you stuff that other videos will not show you on this topic. And a lot of times you may find yourself running in circles, but I'm going to solve that here for you today. Now here's the YouTube app. Now you may have tried to go in through your app to get the desktop version, but there is no option for it. There's no option for it in settings either. So we're going to click out of there. Don't waste your time going in the YouTube app. You are going to need to go into your web browser, whether it's Safari, Chrome, Firefox, it doesn't matter, but I will go in through Safari. Well, let's just pretend that I was already in YouTube. We are in Google here. Let's go fresh into YouTube. I have a YouTube homepage here. Let me just click that. And here we are. A couple options for you. If you click this A, it says request desktop website. And there we go. Here is the desktop version. And personally, I love this view because I just like to see the layout of the different videos that are in my suggested here. If you want to get out of that and you want to go back to the mobile, again, click the A and we're back in mobile. Now, the other way that you could do this, let's say for some reason you didn't have those A's, you're going to click on your avatar. And if you scroll down, there's an option for desktop. Click that. You can see it brought me right back to the YouTube app. Let me just show you that again. And this is where people get frustrated. It launched me into the app. <laughs> I don't want the app. Here we are. Desktop and it launches you right back into the app. You're like, ah, I need the desktop version. Here's the fix for you. And this is where a lot of videos are lacking. Go to the settings in your phone and you're gonna choose whatever web browser that you're using again. I'm gonna look for Safari right there. You're gonna scroll to an option that will say something along the lines of request desktop website. You wanna click that, turn it on to green the other thing you want to look for, there should be an advanced option. You want to make sure that your JavaScript is turned on. All right, so let's try this again. Let's go in through Safari. We're going to start fresh here. We'll just go to Google. All right, let's go back into YouTube. Now, if I click my avatar, watch what happens because I switched on the green lights. Desktop, are you ready? Let me try it one more time. Sometimes it switched me back to the app. Oh my goodness. Haha, <laughs> let's try it again. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Let me start fresh. And I show you sometimes what can happen with these things, which is a little bit frustrating. I don't want that YouTube. This is where we got into trouble. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type in YouTube in our search bar. Here we go. YouTube, go. There is our desktop. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go back into my avatar here. Okay, I just wanted to see if any of these options had changed. Perfect. So let me show you that one more time because I know I kind of did a loop-de-loop -loop round here and I don't want to cause you any more confusion. So. We switched in settings, desktop, allow the desktop. Let's go into Google and let me show you something. There's two different options here, at least in mine, for YouTube and home YouTube. I'm gonna click the sep second option because this is what's gonna allow me to go into the desktop version. You see? Let me take you back a step. And we'll go to YouTube up here. Let's click this first one. It's going to launch me into the YouTube app. The pictures look so similar. Well, I thought it was going to launch me into the YouTube app. It's probably because I got to request mobile now. So these are just a variety of ways that you can request the desktop version. And oftentimes you're going to find that it will keep launching you into the YouTube app. 
But the best way that I have found to be able to do this is by clicking the A's. That seems to work the best. But again, if you don't have that, then you're going to want to go this route. Yes? Sometimes it takes a few tries. One thing I will say is it could be a little bit tricky because you don't know which one to select here. So if I were to do this and I didn't have the A's, I would just type in YouTube here and go that route. Because it's going to automatically launch me in to the YouTube desktop right here. Again, easiest way right there. I could go back to mobile. I'm already in desktop if I wanted to do that. Make sure the settings are accurate for your web browser to allow the desktop version. Go into it. Start fresh by typing YouTube in the bar. You could go to frequently visited, but as you saw here, sometimes it would keep launching me back into the YouTube app, which is frustrating because you can't make the necessary changes through the YouTube app that you can through the desktop version. Now, if we're not friends on Instagram, make sure you come over and say hello at Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits. I post real numbers with you here and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.